Hi everyone. Cheers, I need this. This is actually take two. I normally do all my videos in one go and first out, done. Um, I've only ever done something twice. Once on my, um, I was opening a bottle of carver, it was the one after my birthday, it was the actual bottle of carver and someone messaged me halfway through and I ended up having to stitch it together. Um, another time someone's messaged me halfway through and it stopped and I've stopped and re-recorded and today I'm having to record the whole thing again because the last couple of days my phone hasn't been talking nicely with Facebook and my phone decided not to talk nicely to my computer because I thought I'll bypass it I'll load it on my computer and load it to Facebook from my computer and it didn't talk nicely to my computer and I lost the recording so now I got to start again and try and remember what I wibbled on about. I make it up as I go along, I tell you. So that's why my glass is a little lower than normal, because I've already had my sits on, on video. I've had a few swearing at my phone and my computer, and I'm now having a few more. I believe I said something about the weather. We've got lovely sunshine. And according to my weather app, we should be having glorious sunshine for the rest of the week. Yay! I've had a very quiet day today, well I say quiet, for me it's been sewing my quilt, I've been practicing Y seams again, I haven't done those for years, if you are a sewer you know what I mean and if you're not, don't worry about it, it's fiddly. I did put together a little video um, of Poppy, I did various recordings of her yesterday and pieced them together and I've put that up on, the, on my YouTube channel. Um, which I think you all know the link, but if you don't, um, there will be a link somewhere on my Facebook page. So just scroll down. Um, and it's about five minutes and it's just poppy through the day. If it interests you, please go and have a look. And if it doesn't, just ignore it. The other thing I, I've managed to do today is work out how to get podcasts to work with my Alexa. I've had Alexa three years, I think now. Um, absolutely love her, especially moving over here. I didn't bring any of my CDs with me. All my music is now via um, Alexa, via Amazon. Absolutely love her, apart from the fact that she wouldn't switch the bloody alarm off today. But that's easy. She's a piece of electrical equipment. Just unplugged her for half the day. Yeah, that taught her. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wish I wish it was that easy with children and dogs sometimes. <laughs> Um, anyway, I've managed to listen to a very interesting couple of podcasts about the Tudors, which is a particular favourite of mine. And that reminded me of a book I read many years ago when I was 20 and in hospital for the first time, not for the last. My mother, who's been gone a while now, God rest her soul, uh, my mother brought a book in called Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay. Uh, which is about Richard III, cheers. And she didn't say anything about it, she just brought it in and said, read it and then we'll discuss. My mother was a bit like that, we discussed everything, probably why I'm a bit gobby, <laughs> um, and have an opinion. <laughs> but she taught me to have an opinion and to be able to back my opinion up. Hence the fact you're all sitting there watching me now. <laughs> Thank you, Mum. Anyway, uh, part of this book is all about whether Richard III really killed the princes in the tower or not. And turns out my mother was what's known as a Ricardian in that she thinks he was actually hard done by, by history. So having been reminded of this particular book, uh, I went on to Amazon and something I don't normally do, I actually bought a, bought a book. Normally I get freebies and very rare I'll buy a book and I think it cost me something like that £2.89 and I'm rereading it. It's a bit dated, it was written in the 50s I think. Uh, it's a bit dated from what we know but the, the historical research still stands. It's a very interesting book if you're interested in that sort of thing. So now when I'm walking around the apartment doing my mile or whatever, I'm reading Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay, so it's in Amazon if you want to go get it. Um, I think that's my wibbling. I'm nearly up to five minutes, which is far too long. I will speak to you all tomorrow, and hopefully by then we'll know whether we can 
adults can get out walking at the weekend. We have everything crossed. I'll hopefully be able to tell you tomorrow. So until then, it's stay safe, stay strong and stay sane. Even if you've got electrical equipment.